Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to give a money and prosperity reading, general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Aries. Now, like I say, these are general readings, so not everything will resonate with you. So please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. If you know your Moon, your Rising or your Venus, you can always go and check those out and see if anything is more um, relevant to you in those but this reading runs from let me just check my dates the 19th of April to the 2nd of May just cleanse the area today I'm going to use the light seers tarot I've put this one to one side for a little while and it's time to get it back out again. I'm just feeling the energies of the light seers. So while I am shuffling the deck and getting it prepared, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. I really do appreciate all your support. Every comment and thumbs up and every subscription means the world to me and it doesn't cost you anything so thank you very much for all of you that have done that so far okay so let's point the camera down so you can see what's going on please do excuse my lockdown hair it is still half wet and uh yeah i've given up on drying it <laughs> so let's have a look and see So my lovely Aries, money and prosperity for the weeks starting the 19th of April. Good start. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. And the Hierophant. And the Five of Cups. need to know about money and prosperity please thank you that was quite a bunch that came out there we have the six of swords the seven of pentacles and the moon asked my lovely aries need to know thank you we have the knight of wands Queen of Cups. I asked my lovely Aries need to know. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and we've got the final two out in one go. So we have the Hanged Man, and our overall energy is the Knight of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords. He's all about speed. His knowledge, his speed, his information coming in. Um, you know, it's that that gaining of new insight, that gaining of new knowledge for you. It can also be um, reflective of someone that's coming, charging into your life and just kind of giving you that oomph and then going away again. You know, it, it's that sort of energy, that kind of knight in shining armour, um, rescuing the princess, you know, um, but not necessarily sticking around afterwards um but usually swords are air energy and they are all to do with communication and knowledge and wisdom so this is to do with you gaining some kind of wisdom and it's going to be you know something that comes in quite rapidly for you some kind of knowledge that you need to obtain or that you are obtaining that is that is coming in at a speed now, the first card that we drew out is quite possibly the best one when you're doing a money reading, and that is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, tens are to do with the completion of something, and, you know, it's it's the completion of a cycle. Um, pentacles are that earth energy. They represent money, wealth, 
prosperity, building, developing, growing, manufacturing, that kind of energy, you know, that building from the ground up. And with this, this 10 of pentacles here represents you having done the hard work and it all coming to fruition. So it's all coming to that point of payoff, which is lovely. You know, it's it's about that money coming in. It's also to do with being generous with your time, with your love, with your energy, um, generous with your family, your friends, your community. It's all about that connectivity. But the 10 is about seeing those rewards coming in and monetary rewards at that. So this is a good start to the reading here. We then have next to that 10 of pentacles, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is your spiritual guru. He is here to help you to ascend to another level. You can see behind this particular Hierophant, you know, he's sat there, he's meditating, he's got a big smile on his face. He's a very happy Hierophant. And he has the stairway to heaven behind him. Don't start singing. Um, he's got, you know, this, this lit up part up here. This is about you ascending to that higher plane, about going up a level. So the money is coming in, you're ascending and things are going up. They are improving. They are getting better. They are you know, the financial rewards are starting to come in, which is lovely. It's a lovely thing to see. Now, we do have next to that the Five of Cups. So you may have experienced some kind of loss somewhere along the way. And if that's the case, you know, don't sit and wallow in that loss. Pick yourself up. You will recover from it. This this loss is not something that will be there forever. You know, and we're looking here, cups are water energy. They're all about emotions and feelings. So we're looking at how this makes you feel more than anything. But if you have experienced some kind of financial setback, as we are doing a money reading, if you have experienced some kind of financial loss, then, you know, it's it's time to try and see the way through that and see how you can move on from that and don't sit and wallow in self-pity about it because at the end of the day you have this new money coming in this hard work you've been doing paying off so those of you that have been working on a project working on your business you know working hard if you've been putting in that effort then you're going to start to see that effort paying off and uh and that's just lovely and you know, even if you feel like that's a long way off yet, fear not because help is on the way. Underneath that Ten of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords, again, it's that air energy. This is all to do with you moving away from troubled waters, but help coming to your aid to help you do that in a timely fashion. In this particular deck, she has the crows coming in and pulling her out of those troubled waters. You know, in the traditional rider weight, you have the, the boatman who has his passengers and their six swords in his boat and he's taking them away from the choppy waters into calmer waters. So it is about help arriving in a timely fashion. So if you do feel like you have suffered some kind of loss with that five of cups there, then fear not because help is on its way. We then have in the center of the reading, the seven of pentacles, the reminder to keep nurturing your projects, to keep working on what, what it is you are doing to make that money. You know, this, this is representative. Again, it's that earth energy, that pentacle energy. He's planted his seeds, the, the shoots have grown, and now he's tending to his tree very carefully, very lovingly. And this is a reminder to you to keep tending to your projects, to keep working on them, to keep putting in that effort. And also to let them breathe and let yourself breathe. Because, you know, um, there is an element here of needing to see the bigger picture. 
um, which is also represented by this hierophant here. The hierophant, the spiritual guru, he is all about tapping into your higher self, seeing that bigger picture, seeing what it is you want as a whole, not concentrating on the minutiae. And underneath that, we also have the Queen of Cups, who is another reminder here to use your intuition and use it wisely. The Queen of Cups, she is very intuitive. She's very in touch with her higher self, with her spirit guides, with her gurus, you know, with her guardian angels. She is very much the spiritual queen. And being a cup, she's all about feeling. So it's it's about feeling and knowing when to when to put in the hard work, when to step back and let it breathe, when to um, make your next move. It's about using your intuition to guide you here, Aries. And with that Hierophant card there, it is possible for you to do that. It is possible for you to tap into that and really use your intuition to guide you. And this is even more prevalent with the fact that we have the moon here. And the moon, this is about that mirror energy. You know, the the unforeseen, the or the unseen, sorry, not the unforeseen, but the unseen. It's what is above is below. Um, the, the nature of the moon is one that is very much um, about the hidden truths and the illusions and learning to trust your intuition on things which you have here with that Hierophant card and the Queen of Cups. So it is all about your intuition here. Um, surrendering your yourself, your higher self to the universe and trusting your, your instincts, trusting that you know what to do deep within you. You have that knowledge, you have that power. So... It's about letting go of any of that negative energy that may have been there before and using that to um, to tap into your unconscious mind and discover what it is you need to know in order to make that money. But don't forget, you will have help with this. Help is coming in a timely fashion. That's what the Six of Swords is there to represent. Now, you're also blessed with the knight of wands and the knight of wands she is here and i say she because it's a female in this deck remember never gender specific in my readings it's just about who's on the card or whether it's masculine or feminine energy both of which we all have so this particular knight of wands is a female now she is the bringer of joy she's the bringer of creative inspiration and She's there to help light that spark within you and really carry you forwards. You know, again, it's about that momentum. So you had the Knight of Swords here with that momentum of speed, that momentum of knowledge, that momentum of gaining new insight. And now you have the Knight of Wands with bringing you the joy, bringing you the creative inspiration bringing you the ideas that you may need in order to take something to the next level while also tapping into that intuition you have within you. And we end the reading here with the hanged man. Now, the hanged man or the hanged woman in this instance is um, is someone who puts himself into suspension. So this may indicate some delays in seeing the financial rewards um, but I don't think there is going to be much of a delay because you have two knights here representing quite a lot of speed of things coming in. And you have that ten of pentacles, which represents the completion of something. So once it's completed, it's going to pay off. But the hanged man puts himself into suspension they, to light up their crown chakra and the reason they do this, again, this is about that Hierophant energy and that Queen of Cups energy. The reason the Hanged Man wants to light up that crown chakra is so that they can get that inspiration. They can get that, that different perspective. They can look at the world in a different way. If they're, you know, if they come across a problem, then sometimes they need to think outside the box and 
have a look at it from a different angle. View the world literally from a different angle to see what it is that you need to do in order to progress and make more money. So there is there is a lot of energy here of really tapping into your your higher wisdom, your higher self, you know, taking time to really go deep within to get that inspiration. But the inspiration and the knowledge is there and it's coming in and it's coming in fast. And the help is there and it's coming at the time that you need it. So I'm just going to pull a couple of clarifiers. <clears throat> so let's have a look and see. What does this Ten of Pentacles show us? Can we clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please? Nope, that was too many. <laughs> Can we please clarify this Ten of Pentacles for my lovely Aries? Can we clarify this Ten of Pentacles? Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles and it came out in the reverse. Now, this is indicative of... In order to get your rewards, in order to um, in order to feel that prosperity, in order to to complete the task, you need to put aside that feeling that you are um, that you are struggling. You know, the the five of cups when it's uh, five of pentacles. Sorry, when it's in the upright is to do with feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you've been ostracized. You know. Um, and and you know feeling feeling that the world is kind of against you when it is in the reverse this is your scarcity mindset okay um and you feeling a bit helpless and you feeling like the victim here which will have something to do with that five of cups whatever it is you feel like you've lost or whatever you have actually lost you know um then it's time to turn those feelings around and really dig deep within yourself in order to find the answers that you need in order to move on because that Ten of Pentacles is there waiting for you to claim it. So your money is there waiting for you to claim it, but you need to get rid of that scarcity mindset first. You need to be able to move on and feel the... Um, feel the success coming in see the success coming in okay let's have a look at this hierophant let's see if we can get some insight on this okay and we have temperance so again this is about balance and patience and you know the natural law the natural order of things the light and the shade of a situation getting rid of your shadow self um and working through those issues in order to find your way back to the light and back to the way that you can make your money the way that you can be a success so this is all to do with balance the yin and yang of life it is Balancing your spiritual side, your your insight, your intuition with your knowledge and your creativity and your skills. So it's it's the complete balance of the 3D and the 5D. So knowing that you need to draw in that um, inspiration from from your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your higher self, source energy, God, whatever you believe, you need to draw that energy in, tap into that angel energy and use it in the 3D world and realize that you have work to do in the 3D world as well as just, um, not just, but as well as, you know, putting yourself into that higher state. And we also have the Empress with that Hierophant card and the Empress, she is all about the birth, the creation, something new coming into being, your manifestations coming into being, your your desires, your work paying off, you know, it is about birthing that new thing. It's to do with fertility. So um, having that fertile soil to grow that business, okay, or to grow that money. And she is there to remind you, and she also has the, the moon here as well, which I love because it's it's a, a indication about that using your 
higher self to tap into that energy of creation. So very exciting times for you because this is all about you having that opportunity, getting that insight and really managing to get that money coming in. And I didn't say what I wanted to look at. Okay, what are we nurturing? Let's have a look at the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles, that nurturing, this is about making bank. This is, you know, the Four of Pentacles is putting putting money away, investing, um, saving for the future, whilst also remembering to be generous. So not being selfish with, with your time, with your energy, with your money, um, you know, but also being very, um, very cautious in the way that you spend it. So it's a good time to invest in you, in your business, if you are um, a business owner, an entrepreneur, you know, whether that's investing money or time or effort, that will be your choice, you know, um, and do always take advice if you're doing any financial investments from a professional. I am not a financial advisor, um, but this is about you making that money. It's about making that money grow. Okay, let's have a look at the moon. Let's see if we can get some insight on this hidden mystery. Can we clarify this moon, please? Can we clarify the moon, please? Okay, we have the page of swords. So there is a message that is in that is hidden at the moment there is some knowledge that will be revealed some information that will be revealed the page of swords is the messenger they bring you new information new insights new knowledge and when you have the page and the knight together this is to do with you gaining that knowledge yourself this is to do with with you discovering something finding the truth finding the way finding the knowledge that you need in order to make your business or your your investments or whatever to make them prosperous so it's about finding the truth finding the knowledge and really working on your your own knowledge here so um you know read up on things check contracts um if you're starting a new business and you're thinking about going into partnership, make sure you check those contracts. Make sure you're fully aware of the background of the people that you're working with. You know, just it's it's about being very, um, very knowledgeable and very, uh, very honest and insightful. That's the word I'm looking for. So using your insight into things in order to to make that money come in. Okay, let's take some oracle cards for you. I'm gonna take a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. These are Colette Baron Reed. And as we do have the moon there, I always feel like the Hidden Realms is something we should take a look at. So, oh, straight away. And we have the Shadow Queen, acquiring knowledge, yes, insecurity and manipulation. Okay, so yes, there is a need here to get those shadows out the way. There is some knowledge that you need to be gaining. There is some insight that you need to be gaining. Don't be manipulated by other people. You know, go into things with your eyes wide open. Um, that's the, the basis of that. Okay, I'm going to take a Work Your Light Oracle. These are Rebecca Campbell with the artwork by Danielle Noel. What else do my lovely Aries need to know to do with their money, please? Ooh. What else do my lovely Aries need to know, please? Thank you. 
So we have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Okay, so this may be to do with whatever that knowledge is that you're needing to gain and this hanged man. You know, now may not be the time to leap. So now may be the time to just say, no, let me get my, my information. Let me get everything that I need in place um, before I leap. So there's just a pause that is needed here. Take a Wisdom of the Oracle. These are also Colette Baron Reed. What else do my lovely Aries need to know, please? Shuffling very well. Let's try that again. An itchy nose. Needs them onto something. Okay, and we have to be fair. So yes, again, this is to do with that temperance. This is about making sure that you are getting a fair deal, that things are balanced, that things are leveled out before you make any decisions. So you need to make sure on that fairness there, the balance. She's got the scales there, the scales of justice, you know. So this is to do with that temperance card, about the natural balance, the natural order, that yin and yang making sure that things are balanced before you make any more moves. Okay, let's take a... Um, let's take a butterfly oracle. These are Doreen Virtue and these are for life changes. So we'll have a look and see what you need to be aware of. What else do my lovely Aries need to know, please? And we have new career. So some of you may be considering a new career. Make sure, if that's the case, make sure that everything is balanced and you know, um, everything is in order before you leap into that new career. So that's that wait, that postpone, that pause. <laughs> and some of you may be considering retirement. Well, that's two opposite ends of the scale right there. Again, you may want to wait, pause, Make sure you're getting a good deal. Um, I'm going to take a healing with the fairies, I think. These are also Doreen Virtue. And then I think I'll probably close the reading. So what else do my lovely Aries need to know, please? Thank you. And we get the card of kindness. Beautiful. Yes. This could do, be to do with the Six of Swords there, that help coming in a timely fashion. Someone showing you some kindness. You showing others kindness as well. And be kind to yourself here, Aries. And we have awakening your true self. That's the hierophant right there. Um, awakening your true self. This is this is going to be an awakening period for you, Aries. And you may find that 
you know, the like I say, the money is there. It is coming in. It is, um, it, it's not particularly delayed, but there is something that you need to sort first and you need to make sure that everything is balanced and right and just before you make any huge decisions here. Um, so it, there is caution over this next fortnight for you. So money is there, but caution is needed. And really using your instincts, using your intuition, tapping into your higher self and allowing your true self to come forwards is the way that you are going to get that to start rolling, okay? And although you have that Knight of Swords coming, charging in with, with new information and new, new ideas and what have you, and the new creative spark and that new creative energy with the Knight of Wands there, you need to be very cautious because you do have that weight card that just and the hanged man there, which is just, you know, look at things from all angles. Make sure you're seeing the whole picture. That's what I'm getting the sense of here. You need to see the whole picture. And um, that's what may need some caution here. But the money is there. It is coming. Just please make sure you read the fine print. Okay, my beautiful Aries, do drop me a comment in the comment box below if this resonated with you and do please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel and until next time, namaste.